Okay, so <clears throat> what do you want to talk about? Numbers? Yes, please. Okay, let's have a look at numbers. Um, we have some new faces here tonight, which I'm really pleased to see. I'm going to give you an example today, um, and this is purely an example. I just want to give you the an understanding of the power of numbers. But last year, we know that 196 million new people started using the internet last year. And it's roughly 500,000 new people every single day using the internet. There are just over now 5 billion people using the internet. This is our market. This is every single person that uses the internet will find something from on passive to, to make use of. Whether it's ONET to start with, um, a, a different system than we know on the social media system where they sell data to make their money, we don't. But I'm gonna give you an example today and uh, about the power of numbers. And this is simply an example. I'm gonna to suggest to you that the company will find you three customers within a very short period of time. And after that, it will take three months to provide you with three further customers and those first three customers with three further customers and so on, three monthly. So it'll go you plus your three is four, four times three is 12, plus your four, 16. 16 times three, 48, plus your 16, 64. 64 times 392, plus your 64. That's 256 customers in your first year if you've done nothing, okay? Absolutely nothing. So if, however, we know that the reseller uh, position is going to be open very soon. And when it does, you need to share it. So if you share it with just nine others, so now you've got 10 of you in your group, you can multiply those numbers I've given you, 256 by 10. You'd have 2,560 people in your group. That's an increase in income tenfold, just simply by sharing it with nine others. Now, what do you think you could achieve if you've shared it with 1,000 people? Oh my word, it's incredible opportunity. So where do you start? Who do you start with? Now, I don't know about you, but I tried to encourage well over 5,000 people to have a look at on passive and over 5,000 people said, no, thanks, not interested. So my first port of call, my first, the first people I'm going to go back to is those 5,000 odd or 6,000 odd that said, no, thanks, not interested. Because now we know all of the various products that are going to come out in August and another three in September, and another three in October and so on. All of these products have a place. So if you haven't started writing your list, here is what you do. As I said, you've got 5 billion people that use the internet. So every single person you know that uses the internet is a potential customer here. But think about this. Now, we know that I've been in financial services for 35 years, and I know that the average pension in the UK, um, pension pot, having worked for 30 years and built up a pot over 30 years, is just under 62,000. That produces an income of 3,500 a year, plus your old age pension, which in the average in the UK is about £147 a week. Is a total of just over ten and a half thousand, which is eight hundred and forty odd pounds a month. Now I don't know about you guys, but my bar bill is bigger than that. So how can you live on that sort of money? You can't. If you look at education fees, now Fumi's going to smile and nod regularly here. The average cost to send a student through university or further education in the UK works out between 20, 25 and 30,000 pound a year and they do four years so that's anywhere from 70 to 125,000 pound but let's say it's 80 for argument's sake it's 80,000 pound now how many kids do you know want to start their working career with a bill or a debt of 80 grand now, again, I don't know about you, but my first mortgage was lower than that. And that was a loan spread over 25 years. Now, we don't want this to happen. So in your list that you've got to start, you've got to look at 
anybody that lives around you that uses the internet, anybody that's got kids at school today, anybody that's got kids that are likely to go to university, anyone that's taking retirement shortly, anybody that uses the internet. Now, again, if you look at the specific products we've got, find a hook, find something that they would be interested in. So we know for argument's sake, we've got O-Staff, O-Mail, O-Trim, O-Tracker, O-Desk and O-Bless. O-Staff is linked to every single person that you know that works in a company. Now don't tell me you don't know anybody because that's an impossibility. Everybody here knows at least 50 people that work within a company. Now you spread that out, you've got things like OPEA. Now I'm gonna take a, again an example. In financial services there's a company that I know of that has 70 uh, operations in over 70 countries around the globe, over 4,000 consultants. And I know they've got orphan clients, that's clients that haven't been seen or spoken to, uh, because their consultants have disappeared, moved on to another company of over 30,000. Now, that one company could have an income with those 30,000 orphan clients just simply by using OConnect and suggesting to clients, look, um, let's do a, a Zoom, let's do a, a video conference call and we'll use ONet. They become a customer of OnPassive. How many companies do you know or how many people you know that have run small companies that have customer bases? Every single one of those companies that has a small customer base or even a large customer base would use OConnect. It's a way of connecting to people. O staff will have OPEA as part of the, the, the um, software that they can use, single sign-on. So this list that you have if you don't have a thousand people on your list to start with, you're not doing it right. Think about every single person that you know, every single person that uses the internet, they all have something that they will come to on passive for. And they form part of your group. Now, whether they buy today, tomorrow, next year, it doesn't matter. Because as they start to see money coming into the wallet, they're going to go, hold on, what's that? This is the genius of this system. It's going to show them that they've got money in their wallet. So they click on that and they go, oh, if I become a reseller, I can take that money out. Wow, what opportunity I've got now. Think about this, guys. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. We've got billions of customers to play with. How many customers do you want? What income do you want? Do you want $1,000 a month, $5,000 a month, $10,000 a month, $50,000? Or if you're like Tony and really greedy, 250 or 500,000 a month. I know he wants to provide a, a, a private jet so they can come and pick me up and take me somewhere nice. You have the opportunity to have exactly what you want. Yeah, Vincent's how, trying to call you. Is he? If he, if you want that, hey, we, we, you have a, a time. A while back, guys. Are you, are you okay. You can shorten that time frame to whatever you want whether it be six months a year five years it's up to you you have that opportunity back to you auntie jocelyn wow thank you very much well done today's one was totally different and i like that mm, you're upgrading yourself every day thank you very much brother tony thank you very much i think brother collins is in the house so, <laughs> Brother Michael, did I make you laugh? <laughs> I think Brother Collins is in the house. So I'll hand over to Brother Collins to give us some updates. Brother Collins, is he a co-host? He's a great, um, no, he's a comfort. I think you are the host now. Can you make Brother Collins the co-host, please? Uh, yes, please. I'm struggling. I'm just trying to change the host uh, rights to, to, to Ashley because I'm using my phone and I'm, it's a bit challenging. So I'm struggling. Brother Vincent's here. Hold on. Your colleagues is uh, on mute. Yeah. We can talk now. Okay. Your colleagues. All right. Sorry for being late. Just want to greet everyone again. Yeah, I was tied up somewhere, so but I'm in now. Yeah. So regarding updates, I know um, Andy. I've just um, I think gave the 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 marketing perspective, right? 
of one passive. So at the sales per perspective, sorry. So with the update, I think last week we had all the update. We've not heard anything again from, from our CEO. It's still the same old, same old. But the only thing I know is the data center. I think there was um, the update. The only news we've got is the data center. So they, they are expanding the data center to the other uh, regions. And I think that's the update. And we should just prepare our mind to, to join the round table on Tuesday with our CEO. Of course, there'll be lots and lots of updates. That's the only tool for now. And yep. Yeah, so with the product, I think we'll talk about um, um, the ecosystem, on passive ecosystem. I don't know if Vincent wants to talk about that or I can go if Bob is here. If they are not, then I can talk about the ecosystem. So we're looking at our ecosystem and we know there are many more products that are there, that are there, new products, though we don't know them at the moment. But with what we have now, we know everything is built with AI and the more disruptive functionalities, which we, we don't know, but some we do within our back office. So lots, the only thing we can encourage founders is uh, just um, we simply need to check our back office and then go through the products, you know, try to familiarize yourself with the products, play with them, because it's still part of the beta testing. But look at it again, and maybe if you don't really understand anything, it doesn't matter, but just know your business as much as possible and continue to play with whatever you want to play with it. And that's all I can say. So thank you, Sister Joyce Lynn, and I'll hand it over back to you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Brother Collins. Brother Vincent and Brother Oliver, you are welcome. Um, do you want to add anything on it? No, you're done, good. Right, I have done my part now. I'm gonna hand over to our two beautiful sisters, Sister Comfort and Sister Afumi to talk over from me. Over to you, sisters. You are muted, um, Sister Afumi. And I can't see, are you a co-host? Yes, you are. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. This is Wonderful Melio Williams, Fumi Williams, and Sister Comfort. Introduce yourself, please, from the UK. I'm from the UK as well. You are muted, Sister Comfort. Okay. All right. Can you hear me now, please? Yes, yes, you can. Yeah. Is it possible to make us co-host, please? It's difficult to be asking to unmute all the time. Thank you so much. Um, guys, Grace, I really appreciate one, one second. Hold on a second. Grace, can you make me host, please? And I'll make you co-host, Grace. Uh, comfort, you need to make comfort co-host. Yes, once I'm host, I can make everybody co-host that needs to be co-host. Okay. So great to right. do that. Uh, while, while that is going on, uh, sorry guys about the um, small uh, confusion here. I don't know if it's really confusion. Once again, guys, you are welcome. Uh, it's, uh, it's been another week full of excitement as we are back here. We'll be well fed again about with our with information from our great team, the All Tech Pro. And guys, welcome fellow founders from all over the world. Thank you all for joining. Uh, we are always happy when you are here because why we are here is because we know that we shall meet you. If it's only us sitting here, there will be no need. So thank you. And we acknowledge the presence of our great leaders in the house. I suppose Red Red Fern is in the house. I suppose Marty is in and the old tech pros and uh, AKA bros, uh, thank you all for the good job. And uh, I don't know if I introduce myself, I'm comfort comfort calling all the way from the United Kingdom. So guys, Fumi and myself, we have done a good job. I, I, I hope we did though, because we have tried to come through the platforms throughout the week. We look at what Red Red Fan meant by choices. We listened to the old tech pro guys talking about on passive, having the solution to all business challenges. We listened to uh, 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 the impact of positive mindset from all winners. And here we are today, 
uh, just for us to finally digest it so that we look at what the next week ahead holds for us. So guys, thank you so much uh, for, for coming. See, do you, do you have something else to say before we hit uh, the one? No, not, nothing much. All right, okay, thank you so please much. So on. that said, I, yes, please. Yeah, Maddie is in the house. I think Maddie would like to give an update more before maybe you can just bring Maddie in. Maddie oh, Digamo. Okay. okay. Yes, okay, I don't sure, know if sure. you want to. Yeah. I appreciate that. If he's ready to give us updates, then we are happy for it, please. Thank you. Maddie, you're welcome. Thank you. Let me make Marty a co-host. Okay, I got it. I couldn't unmute. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My grandkids are here, so I'll try to talk loud. Um, updates, as we know, the roundtable is finished. Tuesday, Ash is supposed to come on and give us updates. I believe he's going to talk about the restructuring of the back office. Uh, that way we can put webinars in there so people can go back. Go to a calendar Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Look up when there's a webinar, make it easier because now you got to look all over. There's at least 2,000 groups. Kind of want to get people to go to the back office uh, because, you know, as we go on and move into a uh, passive website, we're going to want to go back there. You know, they'll have own network, own net, and all that. So it, they're slowly trying to migrate to get all the info in one spot, which is better for all of us, really. Half the time, I can't find out where we, I know because I'm in most webinars, but some people ask me and I don't know where to get the info or it's hard, trouble looking for it. So that's what they're gonna work on, I believe. I know Ash is traveling. I don't know where he's at. Uh, I haven't heard from him for two days, which usually means he's actually flying or traveling or whatever. Probably tonight, because usually Sunday night for Monday is when he talks with me. He did send me a video a couple of days ago. It's a really good one, a, uh, you know, a motivational one. He thought I'd like it. it was really good. Uh, but other than that, he's very busy. And when he, you don't see him, it's better, because that means he's getting stuff done. I know some people panic. Oh, I haven't seen Ash. You saw Ash yesterday, calm the freak down, right? I mean, you know, who even say I'm not going to be around as much? And the very next day, people go, where's Ash? I go, uh, I don't know. I think he said yesterday, you know, it was only a day ago. Calm down. But uh, he's very busy. Remember, he's not building a company. He's building 50 companies or more. I mean, it's massive, 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 massive. As soon, like I said, I thought I knew. I know nothing. I know nothing. But what I do know is enough to make you speechless. So I can tell you that. And the tech guys can, when they fill in and tell you what technology, as far as they know, remember, they're looking from the outside too. But they're even amazed at how far this company's gone in a couple of years. But we're in a good place. I see a lot of changes coming real soon. Uh, I see that they, I believe they'll start selling products soon. And uh, during that time, they could be testing the wallets or whatever. And yes, if money is flowing, there will be a wallet. I don't know why people ask me that. Are we going to have, we're not going to have our wallet, but we're going to have money? No, I mean, you shouldn't have to ask that. Yeah, if there's a cloud, it rains. If the sun's out, it's sunny. If you get paid, you have to have a wallet or you're not going to get the money. Just common sense. I don't know why people ask me that. Is he going to put money back and we can't get it? I, I hope not. It's a really mean joke, you know. Anyway, but everything's moving on. I believe people need, I, I think what we need to stop doing for everyone is taking all the information and taking it to people to show them the information. we got to start forcing people to go to one area because it's getting bigger and faster. And, and when things get moving and you have a business to run, I know it's easy. 99% of it's done. But if you're constantly force feeding other people information, all they have to do is log in and go look at it. You know, so I think I did it myself. I always go help people and I realize I'm doing too much because now they don't even know how to log in, which is pretty bad. But we need to work on that. But things are going really, really well. 
he's so excited he can't even talk straight. I mean, because he can't say everything, because the sad thing is some founders can't be trusted, as we know. So if you want to get the inside scoop, start logging in the back office. That's what he wants us to do. So that's the best update I have, really. That's all. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much for the quick updates, Marty. We really appreciate it. So, uh, Martin, before I go ahead, before we go ahead with the questions, about six months ago, if I can remember, there's a question I asked you here, and you actually... So I asked you whether, that was about six months ago, whether you were uh, fired up, and your answer was like, are you kidding me? Everybody bust into a laughter, which I took that by response anyway, because it sounded like a yes to me. However, today I have a different, totally different question for you, given that uh, you think that you know really so much, but Ash comes in terms and makes you feel, think that you know just one tiny bit of what is going to happen. And I am about to ask you now again, uh, Marty, are you still on fire? Yes, I have no clothes left. They burned right off of me. No, listen, I want to tell you, if somebody said to me, I could be a founder in the beginning of Apple, the beginning of Microsoft, and the beginning of Google, but I'd have to give up what I have and I'm passive, I wouldn't take it. Does that answer your question? Yes, that, that's a, that's you. about the best thing I could say. Yeah. Thank you. Don't go anywhere because you have a lot to do here today. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for joining. And let's let's go straight to the business of the week. We'd like to look at what our old tech pros, uh, forwards like bros, have been discussing on passive being the total or the solution to every business challenge, the answer to all the businesses to business challenges. Uh, we are not just here to entertain ourselves. Some people are surely watching us who are prospective customers, prospective resellers, and they need to know what we are all doing here, right? So I would like to know first from, if Tony is in the house, from the marketing perspective, what do you call marketing challenges or business challenges? Before you break, break it. finally break. present this solution we will get the solution at some point but just list a few things am i breaking can you, uh, can you hear me now yes can you can you we hear can me hear you you're yes. breaking up a little bit yeah, just in oh, and out you know hope. we can hear you and then we can't hear you so uh, all right. If it continues like that, I'm really going to give up really quick so that I don't spoil the fun. <laughs> so I will try again. If it doesn't work, then I'll hand over to Sister Fumi and just watch. So I was going to ask if you can help, given that we have prospective customers and resellers watching us, both on YouTube, here on the Zoom and everywhere, just identify some of what the things that you call a business challenges. We know we have learned throughout the week that on passive has every solution to every business challenge out there. So just identify some of what we refer to as business challenges so that when we're looking at the solution, somebody will finally make sense out of it and say, uh -huh, I'm in. Uh, Tony, if you can go first, please. Sure, thank you, Sister Comfort. I appreciate that. Can you all hear me? Yes. Thumbs up if you can, okay, great. Yeah, I'm on another computer, so it, uh, sometimes it doesn't work. But um, uh, yeah, the um, the so the challenges that a lot of companies. Have, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up company a company for for a change instead of an individual uh, perspective. But from a, a company's perspective, uh, usually what they're lacking they're, they've got they've got a ton of challenges for one thing. But one of the major challenges that they have is um, is attracting customers. Okay, attracting customers is very difficult. It's a very it's uh, it's very expensive for a lot of companies to put ads out there. Uh, sometimes they spend millions of dollars a month just uh, advertising their businesses to try to bring uh, the uh, uh, customers that they need for their business. Uh, so with on passive, we've got that taken care of. We've got all traffic, right? We have all traffic. All traffic is going to. Uh, bring the customers that this, these businesses need 
uh, for whatever it is that they're selling, uh, which which is absolutely phenomenal. Um, you know, a lot of businesses, like I said, a lot of businesses struggle with a lot of challenges. Unpassive has the solution to every challenge. Okay, so now these businesses are going to come in. They're going to use the traffic source that we have. They're going to get the targeted guaranteed uh, uh, eyeballs to whatever it is that they're selling, right? All of a sudden, they're going to start to grow. These businesses are going to start to grow because they're attracting more customers thanks to OnPassive. Now, these businesses are also going to look at the back office and they're going to say, oh my God, you know what? There's a human resources platform called Old Staff. Tony, before you go ahead, I just needed your help to identify a few of what we call uh, business challenges. And one of the greatest ones you just pointed out out was tracking of customers, which can be very costly. Definitely, we're going to come to the solution. We just want to point our potential customers and resellers to Mm -hmm. what we have to be a bit more precise. So I would like to hear at least one or two more. Uh, It's red in the house, please. And Marty, I just want to know, apart from tracking customers being one of the most costly things in business, which is a great challenge, what else could be another challenge after which we'll go for the solution? Alrighty, and in the house, we don't have Red, but we do have Marty in the house and his hand is raised. And let me let me clarify something because I see a lot of people raising their hands. Perfect. So in this, I just want to clarify that in our new format, we have Comfort and Funmi who will be directing questions to our leaders, to our co-hosts. So really there is no reason for a non-co-host to be raising your hands. And if you raise your hands, we will lower them. So right now you can see Marty is a co-host and he has his hands raised. This means he has something to say. Go ahead, Marty. All right, yeah, thank you so much, Auntie Lynn, for bringing them up. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah, go I ahead, wanna, I'm, I'm gonna feed off of Tony for once. There you go, Tony. I'm going after you this time. Anyway, uh, no, like Tony said, the main thing, you know, these companies, especially MLM, I'm going to try to make it short. MLM companies die the same reason MLM people die in, in, in industry. It's, it's trying to get the customers, right? So you have one or 2% of the whole company driving the whole company. You can't sustain that for a long period of time. So what happens is, even the one, 2% run out of people to go to and the company dies. The benefit will be comfort is these companies, I believe, maybe not day one, maybe not day two, but eventually they're gonna come to on passive as customers because we're customers, we're uh-huh. consumers, and they'll be able to unlock that limitless amount of eyes coming to their product. Because if it's good and it's a good value, we know it'll be sold. There's a lot of companies that do die because, not because of the product, but because of the design of the company. The company, MLMs are designed that one or 2% run the whole company. But that doesn't work. I mean, if it did work, they wouldn't be I mean, most companies fail. It's really sad. It's like 90 some percent. They're here one day and six months later, they're gone. It's not always because the product's bad. It's because you're trying to drive a multi-million dollar company with one or 2% of the people and it doesn't work. And we can change, we can change that, definitely. Perfect. I like the conclusion. We can change that. So now if we're talking about solution, at least somebody has an idea. We have every solution to every business problem out there. So Collins, from your own perspective, what are some of the solutions that OnPassive has? What do you mean when you say OnPassive has every solution for all the business challenges out there? Collins, you may go first and then Vincent. Thank you, Star Comfort. The products, the products, the value are are the solution. So if we look at, for instance, we're talking about Time, time frame, you know, we're talking about single sign-on. Most companies hate having multiple, multiple usernames and logins because sometimes if you look at those who run businesses or those who work in corporate well or any business or any place where you have to log into several applications, 
you know, look at the time constraint people will use to log in. And sometimes when you go over the weekend break, you come back, you've already forgotten half of your password. And when you forget that password, what happened? You pass it to support. That password, password reset is not a priority when it comes to IT because the support team will look at what are the priorities they go and they, before they come to you, half a day is gone. You know, password reset is always the last day, last job of the day. Then they'll go and be looking at password reset, except the director will call and say, please do that, do that because we have something important. If not, it's not important. We're talking about old staff, seven or multiple application integrated in one place to give you the old staff solution we have. Lot of company will come because it will solve lots of problems. Look at our emailing system, old mail, uh, um, spam free. We're talking uh, about the interface integrated together to give you a total place where you will not have several pop-ups. You know, if you look at Gmail, look at the rest, you click pop-up, pop-up. Lot of business don't like that because it's just wasting time. You know, it's so frustrating having a lot of screens in front of you, you know, okay. and these are the things that on passive is coming to solve. We said, okay, the time loss for, for logging into too many applications, I've given you that time freedom for you to do the job that you are assigned to do. These are the, the solutions that on passive, and there are many more. You know, the speed of our data center still. So I'll leave it there for Mr. Comfort. I think, yeah, I can All go right. on and on again. <laughs> I know. I, okay, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Collins. Uh, Vincent, do you think you want to keep in just one item? Okay, yeah, yeah. What yeah. we have a solution, please. Okay, yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you, Sister Comfort. Yeah, yeah. For as a solution, we have a the solution like uh, Collins just introduced the data center. So our data center is also a solution to the business challenging because uh, well, we have in our data center, because we know a lot of businesses outside there, they don't have it. Even those giants in the market, they don't have, we have, we have a laser technology in which they don't have it. Our data center center also is a embedded artificial intelligence system. And then the security of their artificial intelligence system they don't have that. We have that solution as well. And then with the, the performance, because a business is not only the security, even the security is the performance. The customer will be happy when they're looking for information just like that, and then they get the information done. So this is what we have in non passive that a lot of competitors outside there, they don't have it because we have the best performance so far, so good. And then also, even we also think about uh, the connectivity because then when Sister Comfort was talking a few minutes ago, the connection was breaking. We have that technology that will fix that connection issues. So we have the best of the best performance of the connection issues, because when we use or even our O virtual, you connect to the, our system, the VPN connection will boost also your internet connection. We have a laser technology will boost your internet connection. So this is technology is a system we have on passive the other people they don't have it. We have a dual IP, ad, IP address using for our data center. So we have the whole 32-bit uh, address scheme, which, which is uh, IPv4, and then 128-bit address scheme is uh, IPv6. And then the security also for IPv6, this is what we have, the others they don't have it. So it's a lot of love. So we can start from now and finish even uh, tomorrow. All right. So I'll stop here. We have uh, so many advantages for business solution that on passive have that other people they don't have outside there. So thank okay. you. Th All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Brother Oliver, you want to be ready, but you come after Andy, if he is here. Andy, do you have anything to chip in when it comes to on passive being, uh, having every solution to all the business challenges? Any contribution from the sales perspective, please? Um, I, th I think what you got to bear in mind is that the, the, the products that we've got, um are, are there for every single individual and every single business whether you use um a, it's a big business like the national health service there i'm sure they're going to use the likes of o staff opia um whether it's a smaller company wanting to talk to customers um with o connect um and, and again use opia um uh, whether it's just individuals looking for uh, a, a way of being able to talk to their friends without having to worry about who owns the data. You know, we all put pictures on Facebook. I, I haven't 
posted pictures on Facebook for many years now, certainly after I found out that they own the data. I don't own that anymore. They can use that for whatever they, they want to. Okay. So I, every single person that you come across has the capability or has, we have something that they will use. You know, we there are so many people that I, I come across and have spoken to will say, oh no, I'm not gonna get involved in that. They're going to become part of it no matter what happens because we have something they need. It's All as simple right. as that. That's a good one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. So before I hand over to my partner in everything, I, uh, Brother Oliver, this is important. We know how much uh, people value their security online given that uh, this is a generation of uh, a, a digital generation aware of how much massive layers upon layers of uh, security. When he's talking about solution here, so would you place so, uh, security like an umbrella that is shielding this solution that we have, or is security part of the solution? Bro, Oliver, please. Yeah, um, um, hi everybody. Um... I want to say hi to everybody. I know um, uh, today's web webinar is shaking, but uh, we are sorry for that things happen. Um, okay, for the security, being in the industry, never heard of that our database is encrypted 100%. Hmm. Encrypted means the whole database is secured 100%. Never heard of. Being in the, being in the IT field and in security, Security, we don't give we don't give one hundred percent. But when I heard the CEO said that, I was like, "What?" And to secure that database costs a lot of money. When I heard the CEO said that a few months back or weeks back that our database is secured. Normally, companies do secure their columns. They they they, they secure the data the data that are in columns in the database. They don't secure the whole database. You know. When I heard that, I was like, mm, we, are, we are good to go in security. Then come again, um, we, have double back, we have double backup of power. Never heard of also with, with data center that they have double backup. Never heard of also that they do have internet connection, double backup. That alone makes me feel comfortable. And uh, no matter what we want to do, our data is supposed to be secured. And mm. we are secured, double, double secured. Then when it comes again, the firewalls also, also remember that we have AI, we deal, everything on passive is AI embedded yeah. into, from scratch. Just that alone, and AI comes with its own security. The firewalls from all the multiple regions, they are all secured, you know? I can go on and on and on about security, but just want to assure us that we are fine and everything is moving on smoothly when it comes to security, they cannot penetrate us. Easily. Oh, right. correct. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, so uh, I think uh, I, I'm satisfied with all your responses and I appreciate all of you from Marty to Tony to all of you who made a contribution to this one question. It was really important for me that our people uh, should know. So from what all of you have said, I have understood that when Mr. Ash Mufare says he is offering total solution Total solution means total solution. That's just it. And so we are fine. Thank you. Sister Fumi, are you there? Yes, I'm there. I'm here. <laughs> so are you ready to, 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 to hit the button? Yes. This, this question uh, um, came in just last yesterday. It says here, you know, when you mentioned I think this was on, um, uh, I will speak to, I don't know if Brad Bob was around or Bra Oliver is around as well, Bra Bob. So it talks about how do you want to be remembered? Uh, mm. Oh, bless is supposed to be the core of unpassive. So when we talk about how we want to be remembered, I think we need to, do you think it's something that we need to look back into the corporate value of one passive via our CEO to emulate him by being able to, you know, emulate him means that 
is already provided for us a vehicle, which is all blessed to be able to, you know, propagate however we want to be remembered. Do you think on passive is that vehicle, as in the core of it, which is all blessed? Is that question? Is that question? Is that, okay. okay. Yeah. Well, okay, Bra Oliver. You know, we're talking about yes. passive yes. being 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 the vehicle. Yes. Um. The CEO has uh, he has given us a platform. Mm -hmm. He has given us a platform for all for all of us to be remembered. Uh, for our dynasty to live long for la or for life, and Obles is one of that. It's one of those products that uh, um, no matter what, we are going to chip $5, $10, $100, $200 in Oblace. And uh, there, there are going to be a lot of projects um, out there. There are going to be a lot of projects out there that um, some of us with our personal NGOs, uh, we are going to register in them also in the back office in, in Oblace for that we should chip in something. And when you and we also look at, we also look at Oblace, you know, money that you are going to get 100 percent you know even even from the customers that are coming in that they are also going to register from obless and obless is a product that we should remember that also obless is a product that people will pay to to come in to register as a crowdfunding also with their projects you know and i don't know about the site of traffic maybe maddie will come in on that that maybe they, they can also buy traffic to come there remember the traditional obless that when you when you register with some of this crowdfunding Mm -hmm. You they will give you the link to go and share to your people to bring in customers mm -hmm. or people to 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 raise funds. Mm -hmm. But with unpassive, you it might be it's going to be both. Mm -hmm. Like I said, maybe Madi will come in for the traffic side. I don't know more about mm -hmm. traffic. It's the traffic mm -hmm. that they're going to run traffic on that mm -hmm. on Obless, but it will mm -hmm. coming now also to we the founders with Obless is a gift from our CEO. It's a mm -hmm. gift. And we should make you. We should make use of it. I think all of us, like the CEOs mentioned to us years, I mean, last year or maybe sometime last year, that just give even is five dollars. Mm. If you want to withdraw five thousand dollars, two thousand dollars. When he say five dollars, doesn't mean that you should give five dollars. Give something more than that. Mm. You know that is your signature, and that is what you will be remember. You know, mm. give something. And then with our personal NGOs also, like we have mission for missionaries for Africa also. We have missionaries for Africa. We, you know, we are going to do change that continent. Mm. You know, so it's a gift. Uh, my brother Colin said this last weekend, I, I think it's Friday or Saturday, mm. that when you come to London, you see those statues with, with names, Winston Churchill, their names, or, you know, mm. those look, they, they, they've, they've gone about how many years? But they are still with us because of those statues that are there with their names on it, you know. So it's a legacy that it's a legacy that our CEO has put in front of us. We should make use of it and be generous and to replicate ourselves. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bra Oliver. Bra Mati, do you want to come in on that note of are we going to have actually traffic driven into Obless as well as a single product? Please. First, I want to say, I don't know all the ins and outs of old, old class. I do want to say this. Anyone can give towards a, a blessing, whatever it is. Anyone. But in order to do that, you would have to give your name and your email. I think at that point, it puts you in on passive land. And if you did it from a link from somebody that you're probably tied to them. I don't know exactly, but I believe most of Obless will grow organically. It won't be force fed. It won't, you know, I, I don't think traffic will be run to it. I don't think you'll need to. I think it's going to have plenty of traffic because people love to give and they're going to love to give even more when they realize that 100% of what they give is actually going where you want it to go. Uh, but as far as how that's going to tie in, I, I really don't know, so I would rather not say. But I do know the company gets nothing for it, but I do believe if you want to cause, if you want to create a cause, you have to be in the company. But to pay in, anyone can. 
anyone can. And if they do, I think that makes them part of the company long term. Yeah. If I oh, can get uh, that right, if, if I I hope can, that can we sense. explain that again? I caught something there. You said for you to create a course on Obless, then you need to be part of the company. Is that what you just said? Yes. Okay. So does that mean that someone outside cannot actually do that except they are part of the company? I believe so. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. I, I also heard this. I'm not sure which who. I heard it from me. I want okay, to add something before you go on. I put my hand up. Let me say something without okay. before you continue. Yes. Okay, sorry, yeah. brother Collins. I didn't see your hand there. Sorry. Yeah, so just before, I want to add before you because... add something, before you add something, can I just add this to what because it was you I wanted to answer this because I'm not sure who said it, but it was like I heard academy and obless go hand in hand. Can you? Throw more light onto that, please, as you as add more to the previous one, please. All right. Yeah, I think all the product goes hand in hand with all bless. So let me just add, I just want to say something because the topic was um, what legacy yeah, do you want to leave? The legacy you want to leave. So it's about you, you, the person. It's not really about all bless as a product. You know, but I want to touch that old bless because sometimes you remember last time I see you talk about people are really misunderstanding the concept of old bless. Old bless is not a hang a, a handout where you feed people every day. It's about empowering people because as you said, they are not dead; they are alive. These are people who are able. How do you make them to be useful in the society? You know, you use all blessed to empower them so they can start to take part in the society. So it's not a, because if it's a handout, I bet you within a few years, Unpassy will go bust. That's the thing, that's what our CEO said. So it's not a handout, it's about we empowering others using all blessed by creating jobs, building schools, you know, those type of things that can bring them back into the society so they can start to be useful people in the society. So I just want to clear that out. Now we're looking about the products, you know, the product side of it. Every product, I remember we've done something, I think our CEO gave us a topic about the single sign-on. And then when you're coming out, what will happen? You give part, if you wish to give part for all bless. So every product will have this blessing type of it. You remember when you go to a supermarket, there is always a box where you can say, okay, you can put the remaining change in there. Mm -hmm. That's all bless, that's blessing. You know, you're blessing somebody. Mm. So the products are there. You buy the package or we, the, cost, the, the founders, by the time you are withdrawing from your wallet, there is somebody, Mr. Obless, standing there and said, please, do you have a penny for me? Mm. You know, and that is the concept about this company, the beauty about this company, that Obless is there for you to give willingly, or if you want to go out, you don't want to give anything, it's up to you, you know. But whatever you put in Obless, will use to bless others, to create jobs, empower people. You know, like for instance, we're talking about those who are homeless. You cannot leave them on the street every day, 24 seven. What can you do to bring these people back off the street so they can help and they can come and be useful in the society? You know, and this, this is just the concept of all bless, bringing people back so they can come, you know, be able to do some jobs, and whatever job they want to do, but you have empowered them through all bless. But every product will have that blessing, blessing uh, funding. The crowdfunding will be there for us to chip in something for a good cause. And that is the heart of Unpassive, the product all bless. I don't know if I've answered your question, Sister Fumi. Yes, yes, you have. Yes, you have. And you've even put extra bits there because that, at least now we all, I personally and everybody else have, have an understanding that all bless is not just about handout. It's about you empowering someone else, empowering them to be come useful and be useful to not just themselves, but be part of the society and be useful to the society. So I wanted to go to another question here, which says, you know, it talks about mindset. Okay, that was about mindset and a mindset. As, as we know, mindset, I think it depends on the individual. So I wanted to throw, I wanted to, you know, for us to throw more light on that as in, as founders, what kind of mindset are we supposed to have? 
because at the moment we are talking about we enjoying the journey, enjoying um, what do you call it, the journey that we are in, being involved in the back, you know, office. But if you do, if the mindset is different, I think it affects that. So, what kind of mindset are we supposed to have? We've discussed that over the weekend, but we want to throw more light on that for founders and for our prospective you know, clients and customers and resellers that will be coming in so that they have um, that mindset before they come in. Bra Oliver, uh, Bra Oliver, I'll start with you and then Bra Collins, please. I'm sorry, I didn't get the question. Just... I was talking about the mindset that we're supposed to have as founders and so that our prospective customers and resellers will be able to emulate that before they come in because they need to see that also, you know, coming from the founders. Yeah, the mindset. We should have, we should, we should be able to have that mindset. Remember what the CEO has been talking to us the past days um, about loyalty, about trust. You know, our mindset, that loyalty that we got for from some of us have been here for five years, I'm, I'm sorry, for three years, three and a half years, four years today, that loyalty, you know, that trust that we, that we, that we had for the, from, you know, for the company. And um, we also look at the products, you know, before we got nothing, today we have products, not any kind of products above market level, you know, that mindset, you know, and the mindset of replication that the CEO also has been talking to us about, that we should replicate ourselves. You know, we just talk about oh bless. You know, we should also touch lives by helping people out there. After filling our tanks, filling the tanks mean that go and get change your zip code, change your house, change your cars. The excess is what will you do with the excess? What will you do with the excess of? You know, the, that mindset, you know, because this company, Unpassive is not any ordinary company. Unpassive on is here to stay. We are, this is a dynasty, like Dr. B. Williams said. That mindset that we have, you know, that how will they know you when you are gone? That mindset, you know, um, when the money starts coming or when we have the money, what are you going to do? That arrogance, the arrogance doesn't mean that you should go out there and insult people. No, the arrogance means that when you see somebody help that person. Mm. Mm. So when the CEO talks about the arrogance, because I know some, some people or some of us are going to be that arrogant in a nasty way. Mm. You know, money changes people. Mm. When I was in secondary school, one of my teachers, I think I told our tech pro guys when we had a meeting, that our one of my lecturers said, when you throw a coin, when you're you in the hospital, your patient is on a hospital bed, you throw a coin. That patient cannot tend to get that sound of that, you know that is bad. Why do I say this? That arrogance, okay, I want to tie it with the arrogance. We should be humble, respectful, down to earth, serve our people. Look at Mr. Ash Mufara, our CEO. He's running around, running around for our sake, for us to be on passive air tomorrow. But some of us will not behave like him. Some of us, that arrogance will come, will kick in, disrespect people, want to climb on top of people because we have money. Please, no. Please, no. Be humble, be respectful. Treat people like humans. Treat people with some respect, despite the fact that we have money. Because if you've been in this journey with the ups and downs, he comes and tells us about what is good. He will not tell us what is bad. Because if he wants to tell us what is bad, I don't think some of us are going to be in, we will still be on passive. He takes all the shock. He mm -hmm. has that shock absorber. That mm -hmm. shock absorber with the car that he comes and bounce and go. And he has that theory that is do or die. He has that theory. We should be like him. We should be like the CEO. Now we've come to the point that now we are going to go to the market. 
that is what we are talking about. And that's, I'll leave my kids there. Thank you. Okay, Ramati. I can see your hand off there. Yeah, well, following Oliver, I almost forgot what I was gonna say. Very good, Oliver. Um, yeah, mindset, one, one bonus of mindset for on passive anyway is if you're a founder, you got a pretty good mindset because you you trusted and you believed in the impossible, okay? Mr. Mufara has that mindset. And by the way, if you believe you can, you can. You're 100% right. If you believe you can't, you won't. And some people don't have the trust and the faith in anything. Some family members, I talked about this on my live. The right mindset is believing that something can be even though you can't see it. I don't see air, but I see the reaction and what it does. I don't see oxygen, but I wouldn't want to live without it. The right mindset is, especially in unpassive, is focusing on what you can do for others, serving others, because you're going to get what you want. You already know it. Believe in, in Mr. Mufar and what he's doing. You see it? Now, in the beginning, we all came in for the, a, a reason. Yeah, we wanted to make money for our family. But the people that stayed had a different mindset because they changed. Their mind evolved into what's good in people, why we're really here. Somebody said, well, he never mentions money. He doesn't have to. His mindset is, if I give value at the best technology, at the best support with AI, I don't have to mention money because that is what all this equals. Mm. But the mindset has a lot to do with who you are, right? You are that way. Example, alcohol will enhance your personality, <laughs> right? No, yes. think about it. Yes. If a person is a horrible person and they drink, they are a really bad person when they get drunk. And the same thing happens with money. A caring person makes money, they're still caring. In most cases, if it's to the core, if it was really believe, you believe that way. The power of one passive was the mindset of getting a million people together that think with the same mindset. Can we develop? Can we get better? Yes, of course you're going to get better. You know why? You have the right mindset. You're, you're, you're enabling yourself to say, there's something better. I can learn more. I can do better. That is mindset, being able to know that it can be better. You can do better. And if you have that, which most people in Unpassive have, that's why you see people, no matter what happens, they don't get shocked. They don't get all upset. Oh, something's missing in the back office. You know, they're not crying. That person knows because they have the right mindset. And, and it's throughout the whole company. That's the power of this company is you have so many people with the same mindset, different levels. But it's powerful, very powerful. And as created a magnet for positive mindset. And we all fell for it. Thank God. Thank God we had a place to go. No, really. So I hope I answered that somewhat. Yes. Okay. Yes. Brad Vincent, do you have anything to add to that? I'm coming to your place, Antilene. Brad Vincent. Oh, no, no. Thank you, sister. Yeah. Okay. Thank you God. don't have anything to add to that okay Antilene. hello i'm so sorry i was working on an administrative thing for our group just now what did you what was my question Do you have anything to add to this issue of mindset because we oh, need to yeah. have a mindset in place before we have the seller mm -hmm. resellers and customers coming in what do you do you have anything to add no. to that well well i think that we, you know, we take the lead from Mr. Mufara and Mr. Mufara over the last several weeks has emphasized mindset, attitude. Um, I think it's really important to him because he knows that if we don't have the right mindset, we're not going to get where we want to go. You know, and Mr. Mufara himself has a very strong, positive mindset. And I think that he has influenced us in a positive, in a very positive manner. And he's empowering us, the founders, 
to change our attitudes. If we are like negative, we were worry warts, some of us are skeptical. All of that I think has really changed because of Mr. Mufara. He has diligently educated us and actually what I consider counseled us on having the right attitude. It's very, very um, powerful. So I think from what I see, I feel the pulse of this company for me through webinars. I attend many webinars and I hear from founders and I think that the majority of them are very excited about where this company is and where this company is going. I don't see very many doubtful, skeptical founders anymore. In the past, we may have had some, but I think they've come around. That they've And, and if the ones that didn't want to come around, they've asked for a refund. And I think this is appropriate. So what we've got left now is the gems, the best people, for this company and we're going to take this company and we're going to roll with it and the world is going to see what on passive has to offer and as i have always said there is going to be a global reset as on passive is the correction to the corruption thank you thank you angeline bra andy or bra tony which one of you want to go first you have anything else to add on to that because i believe that like i've heard here Every one of us, we are excited about what is happening. And if people come around you, they do, you are not excited or they are a bit you know, skeptical, you need to be in a position where you can influence them because excitement is contagious. So what do you have to add to that, Bra Andy? And then I'll let um, Bra Tony come as well, Bra Andy. Yeah, uh, it, it's not just, it's not just a, the mindset about on passive though it's a mindset about life because um i, I was lucky enough to meet uh, a lady a number of years ago and she showed me a different way to live a different way to um enjoy so i i, I walk around my village with an inane grin on my face just <laughs> looking for things that i love um you know the shape of a cloud the color of a car uh, the shape of a tree it doesn't matter you're looking for things that you love it becomes habit and that mindset encompasses what we've got here mm. so so i i've never been happier than i am right now i've never been more excited than i am right now because i've been looking for this for 40 years mm. and finally we have something that we can grab hold of be part of um uh, and, and when I say be part of, we're an integral part of what is going on. And, mm. and we're very lucky because we know what's going on. We're close to the, uh, you know, close to the grindstone, as it were. All right, we've still got only 10% of what's going on, but it still gives us this feeling of excitement. And um, as Oliver said, bottom line is, it's it we fill our tanks we know that's a done deal and every single person here knows that um we'll be able to fill our tanks do what we want cover what we need to cover for our, ourselves and our family and then we're going to be able to to help others and mr mafara has created you know over a million mother teresas now that's an astonishing feat of achievement um I, I, and i'm just so grateful that i'm part of it and i found it when i did and answered marty's advert go brother <laughs> sister sister gladys you want to add something to that is brad yes. tony there as well please uh, brad tony you round up on that if you have anything to add to it please brad, sister gladys go ahead thank you uh can you hear me sister for me Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay. Sorry, I'm on my phone, so I'm not in my usual spot. Okay. Uh, regarding mindset, I think it's very, very necessary, especially at this time. Uh, before we get those apples, it's good to line up in our mindset because naturally, as human beings, where the heart goes, the mind goes. And where the mind goes, there the character follows. So if we have to live a life that we have been talking of, promising with all the plans that we have to join our CEO to fulfill his vision, 
by going about doing good around the world, uplifting humanity through empowerment. And that's why he created O Bless. It's good for us to set out, to have the right mindset now. Because if we don't, as Brother Oliver said, that money does change people. So my hope is as we set our mindsets correctly now to line up with the vision, when that time comes, we will be fully grounded to be able to fulfill the vision by doing the right thing at the right time. If we don't do that, unfortunately, many might go downhill or not keep the word and then will be held at a different standard. So mindset is very necessary because we have seen it from Ash himself. Thank you. Thank you very much. Brad Tony, I'm going to round up on you before I hand over to Sister Comfort. Are you there, Brad Tony? Okay, Sister Comfort, I'll hand over to you. All right, uh, thank you so much, sis. Uh, thank you. So for those who are joining in now, we just want to remind you that um, we unfortunately, we would not be letting uh, um, our guests to raise hands today. We just want to, it's more of educational and we've just prepared as much as we can. So we just want to, we're just trying to, 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 to be strictly on what was discussed this weekend and today and stay there. But if you have any question that you think that is really burning in your heart, please drop it on. Okay, comfort, you're getting Just hard to understand. Maybe if you turn your video off, you can probably on hear you. To have a look if there's any important for the tiny screen. Okay, okay now, I please. Yeah, I think you're better if your video off. I think pretty much we could hear you, Comfort. Yeah. On the, yes. On the other hand, if it's not working at all, I can hear it just start phony because I don't just want to waste people's time here. Do you think we can manage with this now? Yes. Oh, yeah. With, with the player on, we hear you your, very your well, Comfort. Your audio is now. It's great. All thank right. you, Comfort. Mm. All right. Thank you. thank you. All right. Okay. So I, I will go ahead with a question. So uh, I, I would like to, to, to know, you know, if we listen to the CEO so well, let me say normally people join businesses because they want to make money. And that's why we joined on passive in the first place before we discovered that on passive was more than just a business and money. However, you never hear the CEO discuss money. All he talks about is value, 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 value. So I would like to know from our honorable guests, and I'm about to honor and, uh, one of our guests today to start off on this session, uh, Lily Lane, if you can let us know from your own understanding, how does value translate into money? Because we are here, this is business. Forget about any other thing we join for money, but the CEO does not discuss money. All the time he discusses value. So how does value translate into money in this case? Lily Lane, are you there? Let me ask her to unmute herself. Yeah, thanks. Okay. If you can unmute, ma'am, and unmute yourself, ma'am. I've sent you a message okay. for you. Okay, thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Comfort. When I heard the CEO talk about value, I realized that if anything is of value, it's gonna to relate to money. <laughs> So, so when he talked about the different um, products that we have, and he, he said one time, if your goal is this amount, multiply it 10 times at this time. To me, that's saying money. And that's how I understood the money. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. So in the same light, yesterday, uh, Marty, if you are still there, uh, there is a statement you made like, um, there is no need to talk about money when you when, when you have the ingredients to make money, you, you don't need to be talking about money. So does that sound like the same thing? Like, uh, does it sound like, uh, so do you want to explain to in your own words, how value or these ingredients actually translate into money? Let's discuss a bit of money now, please. Marty, are you there? Absolutely. Listen, uh, yeah, value, I didn't know this at first. I mean, it took me a while to, <laughs> Ash kept saying value, 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 drove me insane. Like, what's he talking about? What's he talking? 
But I finally, finally got to my thick head what value and money are absolutely equal the same thing. Here's why. If you give people value, which is the product's value, in other words, Zoom, the Zoom that I, that I run for ass, 10 grand a month. We have 20,000 person limit and about 12,000 people start getting kicked off. So it won't even run what they say it'll do, okay? And it's very, very expensive. Now, is the value good? It must be millions of people are buying it. The difference is there's a new sheriff in town and he's gonna offer value first. And I'll tell you what our company did that other companies don't. They based everything on value and customer and talent. They based it on people. All the other companies, all companies all around the world are based on capitalism in most cases. Whereas how much can I make? And they make a product in most cases or a lot of cases as cheaply as they can to make the biggest impact of money coming back. Why? They have to satisfy shareholders and blah, 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 blah. And on passive as said, let's spin this upside down. Let's give the best value of everything we make and offer it to the world and let the chips fall where they may. Well, I'll tell you where they're gonna fall. People come up and they say, I want a conference called product. And they're gonna weigh it against on passive. And it'll be off the chart. And because of value, because of support, because of superior technology, value will win. Here's the point. If the cost is half as much, but you have five, five times the customers, customers are paying what? Money. So if you give the value, which is genius, nobody wants to do that because they don't want to think reverse. Reverse scares them to death. They think value first, ask knows if I give enough people the value, I don't have to worry about the money because they're coming. They're going to choose the best value. And when they choose, they pay. One example, and I've said this a thousand times, in 93, 94, uh, Jeff Bezos went online for the first time to sell used books known as Amazon. A year later, two years later, here comes Barnes & Noble. Anybody that's been around a while knows who Barnes & Noble is. They were gigantic. They had a really emergency meeting with Jeff Bezos and said, Jeff, we're in big trouble. Goliath just entered the online arena with books. And he said, well, here's where I'm going to talk about mindset too. I'm going to kill two birds with one stone. His mindset was, I can't do anything about him, but I can focus on the customer and give them what? Value. Value one, Goliath is dead. Barnes & Noble is gone. Amazon's one of the biggest companies in the world. And it all turned over partially from value. And he said, I can't change what I can't change. But I'm going to kick butt with what I can. And his mindset was, we will win because I'm going to go what matters. What matters? The customer. What matters to the customer? Value. So when that's built value, the other equals that. If you put dirt, uh, flour, milk, a little bit of cream, you put it in an oven for three hours, that's a cake. I don't have to say cake. But 35 minutes, something's coming out of the oven. And you can ice it. You don't have to call it cake, but that's what it is. The same thing with value. You do it right, what comes out of the oven is money. That's my best explanation. Um, that was brilliant. Thank you so much, Marty. I'm very satisfied with the response, and I believe many others are. So, guys, this is a very powerful conversation. If you can, please drop your perspective, your own thought on the chat section about everything we are discussing here. Whether you're watching us on YouTube, on Zoom, or wherever, let us know what you think about the conversation that is ongoing, guys. Thank you. So I'm satisfied with Marty's response. And Collins, you would rather answer some other thing. You know, uh, uh, um, 
what they're doing here, Mr. Al Mufare and his team in Hyderabad, what they are doing is, it's not like they're reinventing the wheel. All of these products that we have here in this ecosystem are already in existence out there. However, we still boldly rate ourselves number one in the world. And we are looking at ourselves like we are 10 years ahead of time, ahead of any other thing, even before lunch. So what makes us this different? What becomes like yesterday, a red red fund says, we would begin by spending a bit of money to get people get to our products, after which they, 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 it, there's gonna be a turnaround they, or the reverse will be true. So what makes us different? What makes us rate ourselves, not only number one, but 10 years ahead, even before lunch? Collins, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. All right, All right I was just trying to get my head around the question here. So what made us 10 years ahead? One, it's about the, the disruptiveness of our products. That's one. And then secondly, look at our the, the, the customer base because all of us are founders. And remember, all of us will become customers and resellers. The customer base, the only company that I've started with 1.4 million customers. It's on passive. No other company have started with this amount of customers. And then look at our products as well. The products that we have in hand, we, we're not going to the market with one product. We're going to, to the market with multiple, multiple products. Most of the other companies started with one. You can see, look at Amazon, Marketplace, Apple is just one. You know, Google started with one, the Google search engine optimization before they start to bring other Google, Gmail and all of those stuff. We are going with multiple products. And if you look at it, we are in the era of, the, the era of AI, artificial intelligence and machine learning. You know, this is the era, this is the only company that have utilized AI to its fullest. You know, all the products are automated. You know, web application is really difficult to, to, to really bring them, to, to, to bring them in one form, one particular platform, automate and integrate them where you can just have like a single sign on. So if you look at the functions within the product, you know, no company has it because what Ms. Ash Mufara did is not because this product are not there. These products are there. What Ms. Ash Mufara did was take this product and make them better. Look like, you know, we're talking about how the product will change the, 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 the dynamics of businesses. It's because Mr. Ash Mufara is someone who understands business. He has used all of this product before. He knows most of them, he knows their loopholes. He knows that if I add this function, I add this function on this, it will become more sophisticated and it will help a lot. Most of the other CEOs, the reason they are really behind is because they are money driven. They are not, they are not customer for that. They, they don't want to give value, not like they, they can't, but because of time constraint, they, they are just after money, money, just build something, throw it there. And because the internet space is virgin. You know, we started with the agricultural age, we moved to industrialization age, and now we are in the digital age. And digital age is still new. It is really tiny, 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 tiny. So when, once you are in the digital age, that is where the money is. And Mr. Ashmofara have just turned everything upside down. Mr. Ashmofara just look at all these products. He said, I will flip it upside down where all the customers Everybody, anywhere will have something in on passive. Whether you come in as a customer or you come in as a reseller or as a founder, you will have something in on passive because of the nature and the disruptiveness of all the functionality. Never ever been done before. So I'll leave it to comfort. I don't know if I answer your question. That was just brilliant. You did it just, 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 you just over delivered them Mr. Ash far away. And I really do appreciate that guys. Uh, we would save us time instead of asking many more leaders to contribute on what is perfectly uh, being explained. Let's uh, give room to many more questions so that we can learn as much as we can. And if you are joining here, if you are with us here and you don't yet know about on passive, you are not a founder and you want to be part of this whole fun and business, drop a comment, be it on YouTube, on Zoom here and so on. And definitely we will help, we'll get back to you. So, uh, Sister Pumi, do you have a question, please? 
Um, the question I wanted to ask was um, to um, ask Brass Sampat. I don't know if he's still in. Well, he had to leave. Oh, oh. What about um, Bupender um, is here though. Uh, Bupender. Okay, Bupender, please. Are you able to speak, Bupender? Yes. You can unmute. Yeah, he's Hello. unmuted now. Hello. Hello, Lynn, ma'am. Ma'am, I am audible? Yes, very audible. It's good to have um, you here. We want to just quickly thank you and Sampat Patel and your leaders for very actively supporting this webinar, which is a HEROES webinar. So I just want everybody to know that we appreciate you and Sampat Patel for your commitment in helping this webinar get known to the world. We appreciate you. Thank you. Go ahead, Funmi. Thank you very much. So we wanted to say thank you. That was why I was looking for yourself and Sampat. But unfortunately, he's gone to sleep. And we're sorry that it took that long for us because I know it's quite late on your end there. I don't know if you have anything to say, Profenda, about mindset. Do you have anything to say about mindset? Actually, anything to add? Actually, I am at hospital now. I am not feeling well, so I cannot speak oh. much. But uh, okay. I can speak uh, namaste to everyone and okay. Marty sir and Oliver, Lynn ma'am. I'm okay. glad to be work with uh, Anpasi and you all of us are very supporting to us and thank you everyone. Thank you very much. Our prayers to you as you get better during the hospital. Okay. Thank you. All right then. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, Sister Comfort, uh, I, I yes, don't, yes. I don't have, I don't have a lot of questions anymore. The only question that is here were two things, which you've already picked on one, which means money will follow value. But the other two things is, which I heard Brother Tony talk about, something about plug and play. <laughs> is Brother Tony there? Plug and play. I, 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 am, want yes, him, uh, I, I want him to come from the from that and Brahmati, I know I know you have something to say on that. Yeah, because absolutely. yes, because I've I've heard you say talk to talk about people that are into MLM if they come in as resellers. So Bratoni, do you want to explain what plug and play is? Absolutely. Yeah, the plug Thank and play you. system. Yeah. The plug and play system is the automated system. Uh, if you come into town passive and you don't have a business to bring onto the platform of OnPassive, you can use the reseller position. The reseller position, I call it the plug and play system. It's, a, it's an automated system that goes to work for you behind the scenes. It brings in the traffic. Uh, it sells the products under your domain name. Uh, it does everything for you. So there's nothing you really need to do except just uh, withdraw the money from your wallet to your bank account. That's it. That's what the plug and play system is. The plug and play system is the automated system for the reseller position. Back to you, Sister Fumi. Thank you. Thank you very much, Brad. Tony, Brad, Martin. You caught me gooping off. <laughs> you caught me gooping off. I was doing something else. Yeah, hold on. Thank you very much. Um, sorry, guys. I got a house full of kids here. Um, plug and play, plug and play. Yeah, I believe, I honestly believe that the company is big enough that it will actually be the pulse for other companies. I believe they'll be able to come in and hook up their jumper cables to one passive and keep their companies going. I, I just believe they we will be that big. For one thing, look, a lot of times a new company comes out with new ideas and all that, they either get bought out or stamped out of existence because of the big boys on the block. But we all know that we're entering this arena as Mike Tyson, okay, in his 20s. Nobody's gonna kick us out, all right? So you either work with us or you're not gonna, it's not gonna be a fun ride. And that has no intention. He never says, we're going to beat this guy. We're going to be, it's not him. He focuses on, he's a good hearted man, give him value and the chips will fall where they may. But I do believe, I've talked to some people. In fact, I have a, a water system here that I bought years and years ago. I absolutely love it. 
and I know people that are in it, I would help them set up in, let's say, um, in on path of, to promote their company. Mm. And, and they can buy traffic. Mm. They can send traffic to their company. Listen, the ugly elephant in the room of any company, any company, is traffic. Mm. And here, one day, one day, so you wrote, um, I hope I make sense. One day when we become the hunted, now we are now, there's companies coming to us already, I know, but the day will come when there's so many people in Unpassive that I do not think Unpassive will need to market. Mm. Mm. I, I do not think that you'll need to get a package or buy advertisement. Mm. Now, I know mm. that sounds absolutely insane, but if you know me by now, I am insane, and the guy I'm following is crazier than I am, okay? <laughs> but what, listen, the reason I say that is we know that right now Facebook has 2 billion accounts. Let's assume everybody owns two, average. I would think they do. But even a billion accounts, it's an outrageous number of people. They don't advertise. Everybody comes to them. They're the hunted. Now, if you've been reading the newspaper lately or you're watching the news, Mm. Facebook is in big trouble. Mm -hmm. Now, it's only going to get worse. That's probably why they changed their name. They're trying to refocus. They're trying to rebuild. But they don't know that ONET is coming out. And I believe when we have that, we have OBLESS, we have five or six free products where people can get in, uh, we will become exactly what they used to be. We will be the hunted. People will come to us and you'll get many times, hey, this company wants to advertise. Do you guys care if they put an ad, a two inch by one inch ad on your website? And you say, yes, yes. You, get part, you get part of the revenue. Mm. And you say, well, why would somebody want to put their ad on my website? Well, you have a website with three or 400 websites in your domain, billions of areas online, trust me, people are going to want to advertise. It's it's a win-win. It's going to take time. But yeah, I mean, plug and play, I think we will bring the life back to some companies. I think we're big enough to do that. But they'd have to be legit. They'd have to have the right mindset, go back to everything we talked about today, and they can play in the same ball field that we're in. I believe. I believe. Okay. Thank you very much for that. And my, my, does anyone want to add to that? Um, I wanted to ask uh, Melanie. What what does it what does it what do you understand, ma'am, about that this issue of plug and play? How can you explain it in your own words? What do you understand as related oh. to it? Okay. I, I hope this is all right. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Hello, good yes. afternoon, everyone. Yes. Well, plug and play, this is something I do at work as well. It's automated, right? And when you go into the system, it speaks to you more or less. You listen in, and that's about it. Plug and play is simple. It's an automated, you know, tool that you can, um, you know, play on and listen to. Okay. I am I am used to it from work, so, <laughs> right. you know, so, okay. I, yeah, I'm used to it, so I understand what it is all about. Okay, oh, all right then. So, uh, one more last question, the last one, final one. I heard this, and I want everyone else to hear it, but it's important that I bring it here. Is there a face to traffic? Brahmati, I'm going to start. I'm going to start from you and go to Bra Oliver and Bra Andy. Is there a face to traffic? So this is my face. You understand me? So the AI recognizes my face. So is there a face to traffic? No, I, I don't think so. I think how it will work is they will see there's AI involved. AI means machine learning. So it will eventually learn the patterns of how someone shops. Okay. And it doesn't care about your face. It cares about who you are and what you do. Right. So 
the longer it runs, and, and the IT guys can back this up, the longer IT runs or machine learning, the smarter it gets. So you start up in kindergarten, you start whatever, but as it's running, I believe the AI for advertising will get better, 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 and better. That's how you get really high percentage of people paying. Because you'll have some people come to your site, they say they're looking for something, they get there and they, they're a tire kicker, they don't buy. But during this time, AI is learning from that individual, learning from how people respond. It also knows that more tire kickers when, are when you say blank, blank, blank. Less tire kickers when you have this image and you say blank, blank, whatever it might be. That's learning. It's machine learning. It learns. So it goes back with data. It deciphers the data. Said, okay, when, when we do this, at this time, more women click on it than men. Or more people respond to this image and they do this. Now, you have to do that physically if you're doing it manually, like I did. It's not fun. It's not easy. And I never want to do it again. In, in this company, everybody's going to be an expert. But to answer your question, it's not an actual face, but there are patterns that the company will learn that will make us better and better and better. And the nice thing is, the better the company gets at it, the better you get at it. Because it's for you, back to plug and play. We don't have to do it. It does it for us. Everyone here is an absolute expert marketer and doesn't even know it and doesn't even have to know it. So that's the beauty of it. We're all going to do very, very well. But I don't think there's a face to it, no. Okay, okay. So I was so brave, Vincent, just now. Where did he disappear to? I wanted him to. Brad Vincent? Is he still on? Yes, he's still here. Okay. Brad Vincent. Sorry, sorry. You have something to add to that, please. Sorry, I didn't catch the question. Um, but I was talking about the face. Is there a face to traffic? Well, yeah. Uh, like your uh, brother. Marty said it's not a face to traffic, so everyone can jump in and then the traffic could come in from uh, anyone. So we can jump in and then uh, according to the customer, so we uh, the on passive also can bring the, the customer in. So we don't have to look for face to bring a customer in. Anyone is uh, welcome to, to jump in and everyone is uh, also free to do or to come into the own passive as far as you respect our rules and the regulation. So I think uh, there's no, to me, uh, a face to a traffic. Once okay. you come in, you respect, and then you do as, as we, you respect our decision, you respect our rules, you respect the way we do things, and our term and condition is conduct as the best way you we can do you are welcome apart from that there's no restriction for any customer to jump into our business thank you very much I, I like the word you use there that there's no restriction because i wanted our people as many people that are here and those that are back home in africa to understand the fact that there's no or oh, it is bramati so because it's his name or his fumi or his comfort or oliver or lynn or anybody that oh they will get so so traffic because they are these people and then those of them that are not their names are not known or something like that we get less traffic so everybody gets equal amount of traffic so there is no face or no name to the traffic that is going to come to your website so that we have an understanding of that and please help us as leaders also to cascade this to those that are you know, in the interior in Africa and those for those that do not understand generally how these things work so that they have an understanding mm -hmm. of that, you know. Pomi, Pomi, that is fantastic that you said that. Yes. Really, I mean, that's the best thing that could have been said because people seem to think, look, you don't want when you're selling whatever it is and I'm passive, your name, because some people's name and nationality, they hear it and they go, I don't want to buy from somebody named blank, 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 okay? Syed Basawala, okay? And they go, well, I don't want to buy from him. They don't see that, and that's not fair. 
you guys are going to get just what Fumi said. You're going to get the same traffic as I get, as Lynn gets, as Lily gets. Everybody's getting the same traffic. It's beautiful because you really don't want to face with the name. That's not fair. It's not fair because people are prejudiced. Let's face the facts. They don't like a name. They go, oh, I'm not going to buy from them. Or they don't like, I don't want to buy from a woman. I don't want to buy from a man. I don't want to. This way, it's neutral. They're buying the product. That's all that matters in the quality and the and the value. Very good. I'm sorry I put it. I put it. I mean, no problem. That was a good box in it. We just uh, it's an issue that you have back in Africa. The mentality sometimes. So we need to make sure that that is cascaded down so that people have an understanding of that. That it, there's nothing like that happening. No prejudices here. Everybody's one, and you will even be seeing a name attached to that face or a face attached to the name. So everybody's going to be treated equally. So, Sister Comfort, do you have any other question? Because Mama Joycelyn is not around, so she's had to leave early. We're going to be rounding up on our behalf. So I'm going to hand over to you for you to round up, please. Okay, uh, thank you so much, uh, Sister Fumi. Yeah, before we, we, we quickly round up, I have this question that uh, I would like uh, guys to, to, to our team to clarify. Given that uh, we have potential customers and resellers out there. So, you know, when you are, you, in the days we still had the opportunity, the opportunity was still there for people to become founders. When you present on passive, some people will tell you that there's never going to be anything that would beat uh, Google. So I would like, uh, maybe Collins, you may go first because if you give sufficient response, then we will go with that to save time. Collins, before Google and Amazon and stuff, were there other companies that produced, provided these services before Google came, before Yahoo and the rest? To, so to make people believe that OnPassive is here to topple whatever is out there because it is doable and we're doing it already. Collins, yes, are you there? Yes, uh, that's you. a very good question. You know, there has been a lot of search engine before Google. Remember, when you think about Google, where do you used to go and search Google? From Internet Explorer. You go to Internet Explorer, you search www.google.com and to come up before they make it a standalone product. And then they build their own and start to ask a lot of the, the hardware provider to build their own system where when you buy like a laptop, Google is already there. Remember, um, we're talking about Nokia. Nokia was one of the biggest phone producer, biggest phone producer. What happened to Nokia? Nobody thinks about Nokia because no, Nokia was bought over by what? By, by um, was it Microsoft? You know, after six years, their, their share just plunged because they refused to, to go into digital transformation. They think they are the giant, so nobody can beat them. At that time, 2000, and, was it 2007? They had almost 90% share of the phone, global share of the phone. Apple had only 5%. You know, when they came with the with, the, with digital transformation, where you have the iOS and the Android, they refused because they think they are they are more than they are the giant. And this company took over because of what customers want better quality than whatever. They came with touch screen. You know, go, um, iPhone came with touch screen, came with apps. Came with a lot android went the same they went aggressively in the market what happened nokia dropped and that's how when they decided they, they sold nokia the day they were selling nokia what the ceo said he said it's not because they did anything wrong it's not because they did anything wrong or just because they refused to enter into digital transformation now we are talking about on passive mr ash before i've ticked all these boxes we have what innovation lab those who are there brainstorming to look at the future, predict the future 10 years before, because OnPassive is almost three years before any company. We are not in competing with anyone, in competition with anyone, because our system, our whole, the whole ecosystem is different. We even want those people to come and compete. We are not here to knock everybody out, but we want people because when you have more competi competi competitors, it makes you better. You look at them and you grow better. We have the template, as Brother Oliver said, we have the template where we can build anything within two days and put it out there. But just Mr. Asuka always concentrate on what the customer wants. Because if you know, it's a marketer, he knows what the customer wants. If you know what people want, you always be a solution for them. You know, 
He will not build what we want, but he will build what we need. When you can provide the need of everybody, not what they want, because sometimes you can want everything, but is it what you need? No, Mr. Ashra will provide your need. He knows this is what the customer, the market will need, and he will provide that solution. He said, tell us and we will make it. If it is necessary, on passive will build it. And that's why we are 10 years. We will never make any other mistake where company come and they disappear because they focus on money. They never focus on the value and the people. So it's a comfort. I will leave it there if I've answered your question. Wow, brilliant. It's the only thing I can say. Thank you so much. So, uh, Brother Tony, we are rounding off. And given that uh, we have heard what we have heard, there is value, there is total solution, there is everything you think you have ever seen, you will see it here. You have solutions to all the problems and the challenges. Moreover, Collins is just confirming that before Google, there was some other thing and there were other things and other things. And we are bringing what those others don't have. Google brought what others did not have. And right now we have what nobody else has. So uh, Tony, given that we are, um, we, that uh, uh, um, the foundership position has closed. However, there is still room for someone to join in either as a reseller or as a customer. What take home message would you have for these people watching us? be it here on the Zoom or on YouTube. Yeah, th thank you, Sister Comfort. Yeah, the message I have is that uh, it's not too late. Okay, the founder position is closed, obviously, um, but uh, there are there is the reseller position open. But the thing is, the people that are going to be coming in on a consistent basis are going to be customers first. Uh, they're going to be looking at our products. They're going to love our products. And then they're going to, uh, e even marketers are going to come in to use the products with whatever it is that they're doing now. Uh, and then they're going to realize that there's a reseller position uh, available. So they're going to click that button and, uh, and become a reseller and have the system work for them uh, in a plug and play system, the plug and play system that I was talking about, the automated system. Uh, so everyone, everyone has an opportunity here, whether you're going to come to use the products or whether you're going to come to be a reseller. So that, I uh, hope that answers your question. Thank you. Sure. Thank you so much, Brother Tony. So on this note, guys, uh, thank you so much once again for joining us. We do appreciate your time, your patience with us, and we apologize, especially from my end, with the poor uh, uh, quality of the 